So welcome to this network theory lab. And in this particular uh, video, we are going to conduct uh, one experiment and we are trying to verify the Thevenin's theorem using the multisim software. So let's begin this discussion. So before going on to the multisim software, first uh, we will be understanding what is the Thevenin's theorem. So if suppose we are having any complex network, okay, so this, uh, this could be a resistive network, it could be an inductive network, or it could be a uh, containing any active components, right? So we can have a particular complex network, and then we are having a particular resistance or particular load RL. And suppose that we are uh, interested in to uh, know the current value uh, which is passing through this particular resistance RL. So if we want to calculate uh, this particular current okay, through this resistance RL uh, or any specific quantity, suppose what is the voltage drop across this RL, then uh, what we can do is we can uh, simplify this particular complex network uh, in such a manner that uh, it will be replaced by uh, one of the voltage source whose value is given by VTH uh, and uh, one resistance uh, uh, which is given by RTH value. Okay, So this way we have to replace this entire complex network and then uh, it will be connected in series with this uh, particular load RL. And then uh, we can uh, easily calculate uh, whatever be the uh, quantity uh, in which we are interested in, whether it is current or voltage across the resistance that we can easily find out uh, by connecting this particular circuit. Okay, so uh, let's try to see this uh, with a simple example. So let us suppose that we are having this particular network, okay, a very complex network, though it is not very complex. So uh, we can also have a very complex network, but I am just taking this example to explain the Thevenin's theorem. So let us try to see uh, if we wish to uh, measure the current through this particular resistance RL. So uh, we have a number of uh, other methods by which we can calculate this current RL, but let's try to see this uh, uh, how this current can be uh, obtained by using the Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so we are having this. Uh, a potential source of 12 volt. Uh, we are having these three resistances. One is three ohms, six ohm, and seven ohms, which is connected uh, connected in the circuit like this. Okay. So what I will say that if you say this dotted box, uh, this will be I will be calling it as a complex now, network now. Okay. This will become our complex network, and we can replace this entire complex network by a simple VTH and RTH. So how to obtain that? That we have to first understand. So to calculate uh, this RTH, which is Thevenin's equivalent resistance, and VTH, which is Thevenin's equivalent voltage, we have to follow the certain steps. Okay. So we can see uh, if we wish to calculate the uh, VTH. Okay. Uh, then first of all, uh, what we have to do is we have to first replace, uh, means first we have to remove this uh, load resistance RL, okay, from the circuit. So we will be first uh, removing this resistance RL and keeping all the other uh, resistance and voltage source as it is, okay, and then we will be solving this particular network. So we have to first solve this network and we have to uh, try to find out what will be this uh, open circuit voltage across these two. Uh, terminal, right? So we have to find out the open circuit voltage. So here you can easily analyze this circuit uh, because here we don't have any uh, connected path. Therefore, there will be no current through this particular outer loop, right? Because it is open circuit right now. So you can easily uh, use the voltage uh, dividing rule or potential dividing rule and you can easily calculate what will be the voltage across this 6 ohm register. So once you will be able to find out what will be this uh, voltage across the 6 ohm register uh, due to this 12 volt uh, supply, you will be able to calculate what will be the open circuit voltage, okay? Uh, because whatever be the voltage across the 6 ohm register, the same voltage will also appear across this two uh, uh, terminals, right? Because there is no flow of current. So if you try to write the KVL expression, okay, there will be no voltage drop across the 7 ohm resistance. And therefore, whatever be the potential across the 6 ohm, the same voltage is going to appear across this two terminal, right? So here we can see this uh, simple calculation of uh, uh, um, VOC, okay. So this value is equals to 12 multiplied with 6 uh, divided by 3 plus 6, right? So first we have to calculate the total current. So 12 divided by 
3 plus 6, it is 9 ohm resistance. And then again, multiplied with this uh, 6 ohm resistance. This way, we are going to get this uh, value as 8 volt. Okay. And now, uh, this VOC is nothing but your uh, Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the uh, what will be the value of RTH, Thevenin equivalent resistance. For that purpose, again, we have to remove this uh, RL and uh, we have to replace uh, this voltage source uh, with its uh, equivalent, uh, its uh, internal resistance, right? So normally, because it is an ideal uh, voltage source, its internal uh, resistance uh, should be zero, right? So it will be replaced by a short circuit because it is having uh, zero internal resistance. So therefore, if you see, and this circuit will get modified like this, okay? This three ohm resistance, it is connected here. So because we have to replace it by a short circuit, then this three ohm resistance and this six ohm resistance will come in parallel and this kind of circuit will be uh, available, right? And then we are having this seven ohm resistance. So first we have to look at from this two terminals and then we have to calculate what is the equivalent resistance between these two terminals so that we can calculate and that will become the RTH. Okay. So here we can see these two resistances are in parallel. So the parallel combination of this will be 6 uh, multiplied with 3 divided by 6 plus 3. So it will be 2 ohms and these 2 ohms will be uh, in series with the 7 ohm resistance. So uh, total RTH value is going to be equals to 9 ohms. So uh, this is the equivalent uh, circuit. Okay. So this circuit can be transformed to this simple network. Okay. So here, here we have this over RL uh, uh, load resistance and then in series with we are having this RTH and here we are having the uh, VTH value, Thevenin's equivalent voltage. So even if you make this circuit, uh, if you wish to calculate the current through the RL, this current through the RL in this circuit and this circuit both will be same. Right. So this way uh, we can verify the Thevenin's theorem also uh, in our network labs. So let's try to see the same example I have implemented onto Multisim. So here we have this Multisim software and uh, here I have made the same circuit. Okay. So here you can see this. Uh, we are having 3 ohm resistance, 6 ohm resistance, 7 ohm resistance. And here we have the voltage source of 12 volt. And here I have taken RL equals to 50 ohm resistance. Right. So here I have connected the multimeter, right? This is our multimeter and it will be measuring uh, current because it is ampere is selected. So it is going to measure the current, right? And right now we have connected the DC uh, voltage source. Therefore, it is going to have a DC current, right? So this is our actual circuit, which is given, okay? And this is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit that we have made, right? So here we have calculated the RTH equals to nine ohm, and here we have uh, calculated the VTH equals to eight volt. And the same uh, RL we have connected, okay? And again, I have connected another uh, multimeter, okay? To measure the current, right? So now we can execute the circuit and we can measure whether we are getting the same current or not, okay? So if you double click onto this, you can get this current through the uh, load RL, that value is coming out as 135.593 milliamperes. And again, if you see this current, okay, uh, again, the current is same 135.593 milliamperes. So this way uh, we can uh, verify the Thevenin's theorem, right? So you can have any uh, complex circuitry, okay? You can have any complex circuitry. You are just following the procedure that I have explained how to calculate the VTH and uh, RTH, and we can easily convert any complex circuit into a small, uh, a very simple circuit, right? So this way we can uh, do the analysis. If suppose in this case, uh, if we are having any uh, current source, in that uh, cases, normally the current source will be uh, means replaced by its uh, uh, equivalent internal resistance that will be uh, zero, uh, that will be infinite in the case of ideal current source, right? So that you have to remember. So I hope you must be uh, able to conduct this experiment onto multi-SIM. You can also try on the same circuit uh, in uh, your network laboratory onto the breadboard. So thank you for watching this video and uh, try to execute this circuit onto multi-SIM and also try onto the breadboard. Thank you for watching this video.